Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In one of our previous videos, we had a brief introduction on lubrication and the types of engine lubrication systems available. But do you think that heavy and bulk machineries use the same type of lubrication system? Well, no, they use automatic lubrication systems and that is what we're going to discuss today. Automatic lubrication systems are also known as centralized lubrication systems that can supply exactly the right amount of lubricant to various locations of the machinery. The precise amount of lubricant supply prevents the equipment from both under lubrication and over lubrication. But why do we need an automatic lubrication system? With this system, the inaccessible parts of the equipment can be easily lubricated. It is highly safe, accurate, and it ensures the proper functioning of the machinery. Now, let's move on to see the components of an automatic lubrication system. It consists of a controller, a pump, a reservoir, a metering wall, a supply line, and feed lines. The controller activates the system, the reservoir acts as the storage tank of the lubricant, and the pump pumps the lubricant for lubrication. A metering wall is used for measuring and supplying the right amount of lubricant. The lines which connect the pump and the metering wall are called supply lines and the lines which connect the metering wall and points of application are called feed lines. That's all about the components of a generalized automatic lubrication system. Now, let's move on to discuss its types. Automatic lubricant systems can be further classified into several types. They are single line parallel system, dual line parallel system, single line progressive system, mist lubrication system, and multi-point direct lubrication system. Let's start with the first type, the single line parallel system. It's used for lubricating a single machine. When the controller sends signal to the pump, the pump pumps the lubricant from the reservoir to the metering wall through the supply line. When sufficient pressure is attained, the metering wall delivers the lubricant which gets passed through the feed line for lubricating the surfaces. Once sufficient pressure is developed in the supply line, the controller shuts off the pump and the pressure in the lines will get relieved. This is how the single line parallel system works. This system is simple and is less costly, but it cannot carry high viscous lubricants. This system is used in machineries used in the construction and cement industries. The next type is the dual line parallel system. As the name says, it has two lines and there is also a changeover wall to switch connections between these lines. When it comes to working, this system works almost similar to that of the single line parallel system. When the controller activates the pump, the lubricant gets pumped through the first line and the second line acts as a vent line. Once sufficient pressure is attained, the metering wall supplies lubricant to half of the total points. After sufficient pressure is attained in the supply line, the controller shuts off the pump and sends a signal to the changeover wall which switches the supply. The next time when the controller switches on the pump, the lubricant enters through the second line and now the first line acts as a vent. The remaining points will get lubricated now and this cycle continues. This system can carry high viscous liquids and it can lubricate so many points, but the cost of the system is comparatively high. It's being used in metal working plants, power plants and the steel industry. The third type is the single progressive line system. In this type, the lubricant from the pump reaches the primary metering wall from where it is distributed to the secondary metering wall and it goes further. Because of this structure, it is easy to locate a blockage, but a single block can disable the whole system. This system is used in wind turbines, trucks and agricultural machines. The next type is the mist type. This type of system applies the lubricant in the form of mist. The mist is carried by the air currents to the point of application through pipelines. This system requires less pressure for operation and the cost of the system is also less. But the disadvantage is that it can handle only oils. The last type is the multi-point direct lubrication system. In this type, each supply point is provided with an individual pump. Here, a controller actuates a drive motor that is capable of operating a number of cams. Each cam actuates the pressure pump, which draws oil and supplies it to the particular point of lubrication. This design is simple and rugged, but the number of points of application is limited here. It is used in large compressors and stationary gas engines. Well, that's all about the types of automatic lubrication systems. We'll meet up again in the next one. Until then, bye!